Chartreux Cat vs Bombay Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? With his cloak of grey fur, sober as a monk's robes, it's no wonder that the Chartreux was associated with the Carthusian order in France. The quiet mousers would have been perfect companions for members of the silent, solitary order. It's a pretty legend, but there is no real evidence that the cats were kept by the Carthusians, although perhaps they were simply not considered important enough to mention. The Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Cat breeders are an experimental lot, creating distinctive new breeds either by building on natural genetic mutations or by crossing breeds to achieve a new look, color or pattern. The Bombay, named for the exotic port city of India, has no connection with the subcontinent but was created from crosses between sable Burmese and black American shorthairs to resemble a black panther in miniature. The Bombay is a smart cat who loves to play and will thrive with a family who is willing to teach tricks, play games, and provide plenty of interactive toys. The Chartreux has the sturdy, powerful body of a working cat wrapped in a short, thick, water-repellent coat. Besides his beautiful fur, his most distinctive feature is his deep orange eyes, set in a rounded, broad head. He has full cheeks and a sweet, smiling expression. Medium-sized ears sit high on the head. His body type is sometimes described as primitive, being husky and robust with broad shoulders and a deep chest. His relatively short and fine-boned legs rest on round, medium-sized paws that look almost dainty. A lively, flexible tail is heavy at the base, tapering to an oval tip. Don't let his ample body and solid muscle mass fool you. This is a supple, agile cat who typically weighs 7 to 16 pounds at maturity. Pick him up and you may be surprised by his heft. Chartreux grow slowly and males especially may not reach their full size until they are 4 or 5 years old. The medium short double coat has a slightly woolly texture, which varies depending on the cat's age and gender, as well as the climate in which he lives. For instance, mature males have the heaviest coats, while females or young cats may have a thinner coat or one that feels silky. The coat can be any shade of blue-gray. The tips of the fur look as if they have been lightly brushed with silver. Kittens may have the feigned imprint of tabby markings, called ghost barring, or tail rings, but by the time they mature the coat should have a bright, even tone. Completing the look is slate gray nose leather, blue lips, and rose taupe paw pads. Except for his dramatic black coat, the Bombay looks much like the Burmese, but with a few physical differences such as a larger, longer body and longer legs. He has a rounded head with medium-sized ears set wide apart, eyes that range in color from gold to copper, and a straight, medium-length tail. The short, fine coat feels satiny to the touch and shines like patent leather. Although the gene for the black coat is dominant, a sable-colored kitten is sometimes born in a Bombay litter. Some associations permit these kittens to be registered as Burmese. The Bombay is a medium-sized cat. When lifted, he feels heftier than he looks. The breed develops slowly and males may not reach full size and musculature until they are two years old. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Short playtimes interspersed with naps and meals are his idea of the perfect day. When he is not displaying his superb timing and pouncing ability, killing toys with abandon, or performing acrobatic flips as he chases a lure toy, he is an attentive and gentle companion who likes to stay near his people and observe their doings. He appreciates any attention he receives, especially if it involves scratching him beneath the chin or between the ears, but he's not demanding, content to follow you around devotedly, sleep on your bed and snuggle with you if you're not feeling well. He rarely uses his voice, preferring to direct your actions with a glance from his pumpkin-colored eyes. If need be, however, he may communicate with a small meow or chirp. Make a habit of observing him carefully and being familiar with his actions since it is unlikely that he will vocalize any discomfort or make any sound to let you know where he is. This is an adaptable cat with a middle-of-the-road personality. He's not a social butterfly, but he's not a shy wallflower, either. Expect him to watch and wait before deciding whether to greet a guest or otherwise involve himself in a situation. His calm nature makes him suited to staying home alone while you are out earning the money for his treats and toys, but he won't object to keeping company with another cat or dog. That same good nature makes him a good travel companion for an RV enthusiast or long-distance truck driver. As long as you keep his routine similar each day, he will be a happy camper. The Chartreux has a sunny, polite disposition that makes him a pleasure to live with. This is one cat who does his best to obey the rules. Always treat him kindly and patiently, and you will be rewarded with a friend for life. 
The lively and affectionate Bombay loves people and is adaptable to many different environments and lifestyles. His calm nature makes him a good apartment dweller, and he is amenable to life with other pets, although he definitely wants to be top cat. Expect to find the Bombay hogging the warmest spot in the house. That includes under the covers at bedtime. Most will converse with their people in a distinctive but not loud voice. Bombays are often good at playing fetch, and some have learned to walk on leash. This is a smart cat who loves to play and will thrive with a family who is willing to teach him tricks, play games with him and provide him with plenty of interactive toys. The Chartreuse Short, Fit Coat is easy to care for with weekly brushing. The coat sheds in the spring and may require extra brushing during that time. A bath is rarely necessary. If your Chartreuse does require a bath, remember that it can take time to get the water repellent coat wet enough for bathing. The Bombay Short, Sleek coat is easily cared for with a few strokes of the hand or at most weekly brushing or rub down with a chamois to remove dead hair, distribute skin oil and polish the coat to its gleaming best. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, Attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The tolerant and gentle Chartreux fits nicely in a home with children. He is more likely to walk away than to scratch if he doesn't like the way he is being handled. Parents with young children should always supervise interactions to make sure the cat isn't mistreated. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. The outgoing Bombay is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.